If you find this video useful, remember to click like and subscribe. And for more information about all our resources and revision courses that we do, go to alevelmathsrevision.com. So for this example, I'm going to bring back to life an old piece of equipment, the document camera. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is because I think matrix multiplication, it's very visual. I think initially when you start with matrix, matrix multiplication, it helps to move your fingers across the numbers. So I'm going to illustrate how I would initially do matrix multiplication. Um, so we've got these matrices here. We've got 1, 7, 3, 4 times 2, 6, 8, 9. And the reason I read them out in columns rather than rows is because I think of matrices as being vectors that are stuck together. And we're going to multiply these matrices together. And we'll, to do that, we're going to multiply all the elements in the matrix in a certain order. So the first rule to remember is in the first matrix, we must start at the left and move to the right. And in the second matrix, we must start at the top and move to the bottom. So there's no choice in the first matrix about going left to right. We have to do that. Where we are allowed to have some choice is whether to start with the top entry or the bottom entry. Must move from left to right, but can choose top or bottom. Here, we must move from top to bottom, but we are allowed to choose whether we start on the left or the right when we move from top to bottom. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose to start at the top here, and I'm going to choose to start at the left here. So top in the first and left in the second. The words top and left give the top left entry of our answer matrix. So starting at the top here and the left here, multiply the first two entries together, one times two. Then we're going to add the product of the next two entries by following the directions with the arrows. So in the first matrix, I have to move to the left. In the second matrix, I move down. So 1 times 2 plus 3 times 6. 1 times 2 plus 3 times 6. And that gives the top left entry of the answer matrix because we start chose to start at the top here and the left here. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to choose to start at the bottom row here. The bottom, but still stick with the left here. So bottom and left makes bottom left entry of the answer matrix. So 7 times 2, moving in the direction of the arrows, plus 4 times 6. 7 times 2, plus 4 times 6. Right now I'm going to start at the top again on the first and the right in the second. So top and right makes top right entry of our answer matrix. 1 times 8, plus 3 times 9. 1 times 8, plus 3 times 9, and then start at the bottom of our first and the right of our second, 7 times 8, plus 4 times 9. So bottom and right makes bottom right, 7 times 8, plus 4 times 9. And there we have our answer, which is, so 18 plus 2 is 20, 14 plus 24 is 38, 8 plus 27, 35, and 56 plus 36 is 92, and we're done. So let's do an example for some, uh, just some general matrices. So let's uh, use some algebraic terms in here now. So let's say we want to multiply A, B, C, D by W, X, y then z and the ink's going to smudge a bit here but i want to start at uh, on, and remember the rules left to right and up to down so i want to start at the top here and the left here so we do a w then move in the direction of the arrows plus cx a w plus cx Okay, I want to start at the bottom here and the left here. Bottom left, BW plus DX. Right, I want to start at the top here and the right here. So AY, moving the direction of the arrows, plus CZ. And bottom and right, start there. 
BY plus DZ. That's just generally multiplying two two by two square matrices together. Let's now have a look at a three by three matrix. And we'll take this example here. So we're multiplying 2143662792 by 192378 4 minus 2 minus 6. And the same directional constraints apply as before. The first matrix we have to move from left to right when multiplying. And the second we have to move from up to down. Let's just get the arrows on the screen there. There they are. But we have a choice. We must start at the left, but we can start top, middle or bottom. Here we must start at the top, but we could go left, middle or right. So let's start at the top here and the left here. So top and left give the top left answer of the answer matrix. So 2 times 1, moving in the direction of the arrows, plus 3 times 9, moving in the direction of the arrows, plus 2 times 2. So 2 times, two, uh, two times 1, plus 3 times 9, plus 2 times 2 we said. So now I want to start in the middle of the first and the left of the second. So 1 times 1 plus 6 times 9 plus 7 times 2 So 1 times 1 plus 6 times 9 plus 7 times 2 then I'm going to start at the bottom of the first and the left of the second. Bottom and left gives bottom and left. So 4 times 1, moving your fingers, plus 6 times 9, plus 9 times 2. And let's keep going in that fashion. And notice if we're right, the same entries should appear all the way down like that. And now just to work that out. For more videos like this, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And to find out more about our Skype tuition and revision courses, go to alevelmathsrevision.com.